I'm so excited to hear a little bit more of what the Lord's been speaking to you in this time. I was explaining that you are the managing producer for CBN International's work in India, Nepal, Canada, that you're behind the great productions of 700 Club Canada, Egnay Zindagi in Hindi, and a couple other ones in Nepal, right? Which one's in Nepal? Yeah, so I help our great teams in several regions around the world. In Nepal, um, for years, they produced a kids program called Happy World in English and then wow. Superbook. So those are the two shows that are popular and that do really well in Nepal. So I help them accomplish those goals. Awesome. Uh, yeah, India, you've already mentioned kind of our main flagship show is the Hindi program. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love the work that you're doing. You know that. Um, and actually, for those of you guys watching, Krista actually was the managing producer on episode, I believe it was episode eight of Life Changers, which was about India. So that was great to work with you then. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> so in this time with everything that's been going on, how, how are the teams doing around the world that you manage? How are they able to work from home? Are they able to work from home? What what are they trying to accomplish in this time? Yeah, I think collectively, even though each region is slightly different. So I'm dealing with Asia, then I'm dealing with Canada. But of course, there's a huge population of, you know, Asians in Canada. So there are some similarities, although our show is English. But yeah, I just think, you know, like everyone around the world is experiencing. It's, I think we're already in the new normal. Everybody keeps saying, well, we'll have this new normal or we'll go back to normal. But I think we're already in it. You know, to some degree, and how that pertains to us, uh, because we produce. So many of our offices already have a social media presence, so they're producing content, but they also are maintaining TV shows. So in Canada, we have a daily TV show. In India, we have a daily TV show. Even in Nepal, we're on multiple times a week. Um, mm -hmm. So we're still kind of, you know, like by production, by yeah. two productions, right? But of course, um, all of these regions um, are in lockdown, you know, basically the yeah. world is in lockdown. So they've had to, like most of us, scramble to figure out how do we keep doing our shows or how do we do them differently? Of course, the end goal is always how do we, you know, encourage people, spread the gospel, yeah. you know. Um, so I think quickly we've had to scramble and figure out how to do that. And I think they've done it well. Um, in Canada for the 700 Club Canada show. Uh, this week we started to tape our hosts from home and we are maintaining our airtime contracts. So nice. uh, the show will start going on. Actually, and the advantage is we're, we're becoming more uh, like relevant in the sense of timeliness. Mm -hmm. um, we're able to produce in a shorter amount of time and get the programs out to broadcast quicker which means our host can really engage more with what's going on, you know, and minister. And I think a way that's slightly different, we used to kind of produce one, once a month, you know, 20 shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yes. because of yeah, uh, lo the logistics. So now we're forced and our goal has always been to produce in a more timely manner. And now we're doing that. So that's good. So we'll see what that evolves into in the future. Um, India, the same way, they ramped up their social media efforts because most everyone is, you know, on their phones, um, on their tablets and so forth. So they've really harnessed that opportunity and um, they're going gung ho with content yeah. on social media. But this week, too, uh, they're also working on how do we if we can get our shows back on the air. It's, of course, complicated in certain areas of the world where Internet, you know, is not as agreeable or fast but um again you know no one's stopping it says up the creativity and you know the smarts to do it god's really yeah. gifting people in that area um even in nepal uh, they're in lockdown as well but they're able to actually uh, work still some and keep the shows on air so yeah i think god equips with the tools needed for the time and I think yeah. also reveals new things that will launch us into ways we can do even more in the future. But this is becoming the new normal. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just thinking of that quote, necessity is the mother of invention, of yeah. course. <laughs> but w what are some updates from Nepal? I haven't actually heard um, a lot of news about mm -hmm. Nepal. I know that India has been crazy with all of the migrant workers trying to get back home and all of that. But do you, have yeah. any, do you know anything about Nepal? Yep, I was just actually on WhatsApp 
with our colleague. They're asking what their specific prayer request would be, so it's kind of hot off the press. So um, I did look, I mean, number wise, they only have, which I guess anyone affected by the coronavirus, that's a serious situation because of, you know, the possibility of it spreading, but also for that person. Um, they have 49 cases as of today. And of course, that's such a small number compared to other places. I think the things that are a challenge for a country like Nepal is that they are not prepared with medical provisions, the number of doctors, should this become something that's a larger scaled pandemic for them. Um, like a lot of countries that are uh, higher with a poverty rate, they won't be able to deal with it. So I think the prayer is that it's contained. Um, there are people out of that 49 that have come through it. So, I mean, I'm grateful that the, the number is not larger since they share a border with India. You yeah. know, borders were just closing. So actually some of those cases came in from Europe as I was doing my reading. Oh, wow. So yeah, I think the prayer request specifically coming from our team there, um, as they're continuing to do the work that they can, you know, it's, it's prayers of safety, like we all have for other families, yeah. um, you know, ways in which to, to minister more, how can they do that? Um, and what I really liked when I got the answer back, like, what can we do to pray for you? The top thing was we're praying for you all in the States. How are you? So too, I think that's reflective, like, right. We're just one body of Christ around the world. And no matter what our situation, we lift each other up in prayer. And I thought they're always just so thoughtful that way. Like whatever they're experiencing, they're always thoughtful too, to say like, Hey, how can we pray for you guys? So yeah, just for our teams for encouragement, they're a really hardworking team. It's hard in Nepal, you know, they don't have all of the luxuries that we do. And then in lockdown, you know, like how are people getting food, you know, just the basic provisions, but they never complain. And actually the body of Christ is really strong in Nepal. We don't hear much about that. I've learned because I've been a part of the ministry in Nepal for a long time. But even in the last couple of years, there's been a real passion for Christ, I think that's exploding throughout mm -hmm. Nepal. And there's a really good unity um, of just the body of believers. They come together, you know, it doesn't de depend on your denomination, but they come together, pastors do, mm -hmm. um, wow. in a really unified way, you know, so I think they can be really influential, you know, as a small little place dot on the map, so to speak. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of um, different denominations, a thought that has been on my heart is, and I don't think this is from my perspective, but I think that now more than ever, the church globally is more united um, than ever before because of the, the fact of, of this coronavirus, that, the COVID-19 that we're experiencing. Um, but yeah. it, it is kind of like an encouraging thing of like, wow, we are, we are putting aside denominations, we're putting aside uh, the differences of like, well, I'm an American Christian or I'm a Mexican Christian and I'm from Nepal, like all, all of these national things aside and we're, we're saying, no, we need Jesus. And it's kind of awakening us to the main priority to, to make sure that people know about him, yeah. regardless of where we're from or what we look like. That's true. Yeah. Well, what's something that the Lord has been putting on your heart in this time? Um, I know you're in, you're in the Midwest with your husband and your family. Uh, how, how are things there, by the way? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're in lockdown, like most people, you know, getting out when needed. Um, definitely for me, I think spending more time outside or whether I started to kind of peek into the spring. And Ooh, that's I spend a lot of time just walking, you know, especially in the evenings. That's my time. I love to see the sun start to set. Um, yeah, the other day, I it was just a beautiful kind of a hazy, actually, morning when I was walking. And then all of a sudden, I had this this beautiful connection to India, right? It's like God's creation, what he does connects you with people, you know, connects you with, yeah, his spirit. And yeah. so I've just enjoyed personally being more outside in nature and just listening and seeing what God's doing and talking to me about. And yeah, even just this morning when I was reading, I just wrote down the words, his presence. Like, I think we're all experiencing God hopefully in new ways or just trying to listen to him you know and know what that's about and um, two verses I like one is in Psalm 51 I just kind of read part of it 
kind of a beautiful reminder to today for me on a Friday. It says, give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes at the end of a week, we feel drained. And I love that bountiful spirit and that, mm-hmm. that reminder, he sustains us, right? So whether we're here in the States, we're in lockdown in Asia, even in Canada, honestly, Canada has double the amount of coronavirus cases than india oh wow and we don't hear much about canada right i just read those numbers today i was like wait a second the populations are not apples to apples canada has double the amount that india has so they're really struggling too right like i talked to my colleagues yesterday yeah and of course it's you know like the way that we do production has stopped you know so we've had to really reinvent the wheel like we've talked about But also just, I think about people, right? I think about our families, the team members that I work with, like their worlds have been rocked right now, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them are without employment, you know, they're helping out, just trying to make efforts work. So I think my prayer going into this week and out of this verse for Psalms 50, uh, in Psalms 51, we'll just be praying for that sustainability, you know, for all these Mm -hmm. colleagues. But it's that morning walk again, where I see that sunset, then I'm going to or sunrise, I'm going to pray for my friends in India, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And just that whole idea of a bountiful spirit, that's reflective of Christ's spirit in this verse. But what does that mean for people? You know, is it praying that the spirit just invades them with more joy, answers a physical need? There's a lot of people just dealing, you know, with some struggles right now. And then the other um, verse I really liked this morning as I was reading, it was in Malachi 1, and this is verse 11. It says, from the rising of the sun to its setting, my name is great among the nations. Mm. Kind of going back to what you're talking about, right? Like <laughs> we're this global community. Yeah. And hopefully it is drawing us closer together, right? And God's intention is for the nations to draw closer mm. to him. So I think we just have to be in tune with his bountiful spirit, his sustaining grace. Yeah. And just be, you know, again, outward focused. Like what does he want us to be in tune with? You know, as he leads yeah. us, praying for others. I mean, I've got, even though I've worked remotely for over 10 years, so for me, this isn't like a huge change, but I'm used to traveling, yeah. so I feel a little stir crazy. <laughs> so I need to refocus those energies, I think, into more prayer time for my colleagues who, have, you know, they're working much more right now, trying to get mm-hmm. yeah. programming out in ways that they're not used to. And, you know, when you work from home, sometimes you don't have a nine to five job, you know, you've got yeah. about a 12 hour day shift. So even yeah. like right in our team in India, they're working around the clock, even this weekend, trying to get some more programs out. And so it's like, I was want to uplift them, you know, pray that they have encouraged spirits. Like our team in India, there really wasn't a lot of warning a month ago. So even though, we have a great team, a lot of youthful people, and they have apartments or live with someone. They're away from their families. They didn't even have time to travel back home. So they're just kind of isolated, you know? And wow. so you forget about that too. There's certain levels of isolation, but you even have young people that given enough time would have gone back to their state to be with their mm-hmm. family. Yeah. Because they're not usually from Delhi where our office is, but it happened so fast, they just got stuck. You know, and most of these places have all issued extensions to lockdown. Like India is in another extension. Nepal is in another extension. Canada is in another extension. So we don't see the end of that isolation. So just being sensitive, I think, to what people are going through and being prayerful Mm -hmm. and really uplifting each other. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Can we take some time now to pray? I'm just yeah. like, I'm re- for me, I know I'm, my, my perspective is definitely opened up right now. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> like putting yeah, myself right. in those shoes. Yeah. And I love what you shared about the bountiful spirit and, and the rising of the sun. <laughs> all that. that was so good. My picture's on Instagram. You can see it. I posted it. Actually, <laughs> I sent it to my side note real quick. I sent that picture of this hazy sun. And actually, there was a smell of a fire. And if you've ever been to India, there's always fires burning in the wintertime. For some people, it's a repulsive smell. For me, it's a very inviting smell because it reminds me of India, the India that I love, the people that I love. Kind of like God's incense burning, right? It has a meaning to it. So for me, that triggered an email to my friend. She's like, you have to post that picture up. And so to me, that's that reminder, right? Like, yeah, God, thank you for just reminding me. Like, 
I love India. I love what's happening. I love working with those people there. You know, just thank you for those reminders. So yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Yeah, you go ahead and start okay. us off. Thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for being um, with us, Lord, your presence. That's what I was reminded of today, that you are above us, you are below us, on either side of us, all around us, within us, as the Jewish prayer goes. Thank you for that, Lord. And I, I thank you for this time just to share for a few minutes about some other places around the world, Lord. We're globally affected by this pandemic, but also, God, we are... Yeah, encouraged that we can take this time to uh, be more mindful of ministry and your work in each other. So thank you, Lord, that you give us your bountiful spirit, Lord, for the needs that each of us have individually. Thank you for that. Thank you for your sustaining grace. And Lord, I pray for our teams in the regions that I know closely and work with closely. I, I lift up India, Lord, uh, just a beautiful place, God, beautiful people and um, Lord, there are so many that love you and our team who is doing such hard work to keep um, your good news of hope and grace out there. So, Lord, I lift up each team member, even as they go into work this weekend, Lord, to keep programming going. Give them the joy of your of your presence, Lord. I pray mm -hmm. against any difficulties, even on the production side and technical difficulties. Lord, um, you're working out the the kinks already, so continue to do that, Lord. Be with the millions in India that are without provisions, or we pray for them, for the migrant workers, Lord, for those that are being discriminated against right now. God, we pray for um, an outpouring of your spirit all through India. And Lord, also mm -hmm. for the neighboring country of Nepal, Lord, yes, we just pray that you would contain the coronavirus. We pray for healing for those still suffering. We pray against any further outbreak. We pray Lord, for the specific needs that our team has listed today, God, just that you would be with them, give their family, their family's health and wholeness, God, and continue to help them to find more ways to minister. That's what they really want to do, God, is to continue to do their work for you. And Lord, I think of Canada, which has a crazy double amount of cases than a, a place like India with so many more people, Lord, it's, it's still spreading through Canada. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray against that. We pray that um, there would be no more new cases. Lord, help them to find ways to to, um, to bring a healing to what's happening physically. And for all those people out of work in Canada, for our teams, Lord, many of them um, who need you, their families need provisions and um, for continued help with workflow, Lord, for the, the TV show and the online ministry that our hosts do. Lord, many people are being reached because they're in isolation. So we thank you for that. So we pray special blessing on our host. We're doing double duty, Lord, to get even more messages out through programming and the internet. So Lord, sustain each person in each office in each country that needs your help this weekend. May your sweet presence fill their homes, fill their lives, Lord. We just thank you that you hear our prayers, Lord, and we are grateful. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I also want to invite for our friends watching, if you guys want to comment on any prayer requests, we also want to pray for you. And right now, Father, I thank you, God, for Krista and for her life and for her family. God, I, I just thank you for the heart that you've given her for the nations. And I, I ask, Lord, that new dreams start birthing within her, even in this time, Lord, that she's she can't go go to those places, but God, I ask for a new new vision in this season of uh, of the future of what you want her to do in the next few years, God, that that you would just uh, grant her a, just a joy, Lord, of, of what's to come and an excitement as she is able to connect, Lord, with every person that, that she's that is part of her teams, or of the teams that she works with, Father. And I just, Father, I thank you for what she shared about your bountiful your bountiful spirit. And a uh, picture comes to mind of uh, how God. It, scripture says that 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 a door any door that you open that no one can shut it and doors that you close no one can open and lord we in this time we've been praying a lot about you being our provider you being our healer and we're really claiming those things and declaring those things but god i also want to acknowledge that you are our doorkeeper and that in this time while we are literally locked in while we really have been struggling with the quarantine and lockdown god we just say that you are our doorkeeper not the coronavirus, not COVID-19, Lord, not this pandemic. Father, you are our doorkeeper. And Lord, in this time, as we 
we're taking time to be safe, be wise, and, and, and really try to prevent this outbreak from continuing, God. We ask, God, that, that you become the Lord and ruler of our homes like never before. For all of us around the world, for people in India, for friends in, in Nepal and Canada, God, and, and, and all the other nations, that in this time, Lord, you will be our doorkeeper, that you will guard us, that you will protect us, that, that we as your sheep will hear your voice like never before. Father, I just ask for a stirring in the, uh, the body of Christ, especially God in the Western side, that we would wake up to how beautiful your love is, Lord, for, for all the nations and how, how marvelous you are and, and want to connect us to the global body of Christ. God, I ask for eyes to be opened, that the spiritual eyes would be, would be open, that, that you would grant us understanding of, of your move in the nations and of your passion for, for the gospel to be shared with people all over the world. And Lord, I just thank you that you're you're working even now, that you're working while we're waiting, that you're working while <laughs> while we're trying to be patient, God, that you are wanting to draw near to us in this time. And God, I ask for more of that for my life and more of that for our CBN, Lord, but more of that for the global church and more of that for every person that needs to come to know you in this time, that we, that we will be effective, Lord, in this time and drawing people to your name, Jesus, that we would burn with the fire of the gospel, that we would be messengers of peace, of hope, of joy in this time. And God, that you would lift us up I ask for a double portion, Lord, uh, to be poured out over our hosts in India, Nepal, and Canada, that they won't be weary, that they won't run empty, that they will be pouring out um, from, not from like leftovers, but God, that they'll be pouring out from just this overflow of their relationship with you in the season, that um, it'll just be an undeniable uh, move of God that you're doing through them and everywhere around the world. And God, we also pray for Israel um, and and other nations like Italy and um, yeah, different different nations are coming to my mind, Indonesia, God. And I just pray for your blessing over them, that you would move, Lord, have mercy on them, that you would um, just guard guard the nations of the world, Lord, from, from this virus, that you would protect uh, the remnants of people that believe in you, God, so that they can be equipped to just go out and spread, spread your love and uh, even reach out to the poor, even even the homeless in whatever way they can with the government regulations, Lord, that uh, we're not forgetting, Lord, that there are people that are going through this virus, uh, this pandemic situation that don't have the blessings that we have. And Lord, I just ask that you help us be your hands and feet in this season. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Well, thank you, Krista. I don't see oh, any you're comments. Welcome. Sorry, it took me forever to log on. No, no, I, it was my mistake. I, I, I guided you to the wrong section. <laughs> We're new to this live thing. So thank you so I much. It was talking a, to you again in the future. Yeah, likewise. It was a blessing to hear the updates from, from India and Nepal and Canada. No yeah. Problem. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for joining. See you later.